The sound of Indian drums echoes today in the heart of Mexico City as dancers reenact the ceremonies of their ancestors. The sacred steps recall a time when feathered warriors invaded the Valley of Mexico, bringing their fierce customs and violent religion. But only one of these tribes would become famous, burned indelibly into history, a people we now call the Aztecs. The Valley of Mexico lies here in the highlands of southern Mexico. It is a broad basin surrounded by high mountains, and in ancient times it contained a large lake called Lake Texcoco. This was the center of great civilizations long before the time of the Aztecs, and to understand the Aztecs, we must take a look at these earlier civilizations. Set on a broad plain in the Valley of Mexico, ancient Teotihuacan is one of the most striking sights in the world. When the Aztecs found these ruins, they were stunned by the enormous pyramids, the rows of temples, and the broad avenues. They thought the place must have been built by gods, so they named it Teotihuacan, which means the home of the gods. As this model shows, the palaces and plazas were laid out in perfect order on each side of a grand avenue. The city must have struck awe in the minds of the Indians who saw it for the first time. On festival days, they could climb the Great Pyramid of the Sun, which loomed like a mountain over the city. It was made of millions of mud bricks covered with a layer of volcanic rock. Looking down from the top of the pyramid, one could see the city laid out. At its height, in 650 AD, some 200,000 people lived here, sprawled over eight square miles. They lived in apartment houses connected by narrow streets and alleys. It has been estimated that there were about 3,000 apartment houses with 60 to 100 people living in each house. Nearly all of the houses were plastered and painted in a bright color, usually red. Even after 14 centuries, plaster and paint still cling to the old walls. Inside the palaces, the wall decorations were lavish. Here the rain god scatters drops of water, while his priests pour streams of corn onto the earth. This goggle-eyed god, covered with corn, was called Tlaloc, he was the god of rain and harvest, while this is Quetzalcoatl, the feathered serpent, a god that is half bird and half snake. These were two of the most important gods, not only in Teotihuacan, but throughout Mesoamerica. For unknown reasons, in about the year 700 AD, the sun began to set on the civilization of Teotihuacan. People moved away, and parts of the city were burned. By the year 750, after more than a thousand years of splendor, the last people left, and the city fell silent.